Thanks for clicking Canadians and businesses expect our inflation rate to remain elevated for the foreseeable future, according to the Canadian Survey on Consumer Expectations and the Business Outlook Survey just released this week. The reports reveal a high level of concern about the future of Canada's inflation rate and are no doubt going to put even more pressure on the Bank of Canada to issue a jumbo rate hike at its rate announcement next week. We've discussed before on this channel that while the Bank of Canada is indeed trying to get Canada's inflation rate back down to that 2-3% to target range, its most immediate task is to manage inflation expectations. So these data sets give us a good insight into the extent to which the bank has been successful. It says on your chart that you're f***ed up. So what I want to do today is go over the consumer expectations and business outlook surveys as they give us insight into what the market is thinking vis-a-vis -vis the future of our inflation rate. We'll then take a look at what to look for next. Speaking of what to look for next, the Bank of Canada is set to release its interest rate announcement next week, which will obviously have a big impact on our economy and on our real estate prices going forward. We'll obviously have an update out on that announcement on this channel. Click like and subscribe to get those updates. But for now, let's get into these surveys. First up, what the Bank of Canada really cares about, consumer expectations. That is, making sure Canadians don't think inflation will be a permanent state, and that those inflationary expectations remain low. As Deputy Governor of the Bank of Canada, Paul Beaudry, said at the beginning of June. And of one year and two year out, expectations have just been rising even further out, and that's really what's worrying us. And but this survey shows that despite the Bank of Canada raising interest rates in early June, and raising rates by 125 basis points since March, Canadians have not wavered in their expectations that inflation will remain elevated for a long time. With the median level of respondents thinking inflation will be close to 7% in one year's time, 5% in two years time, and 4% in five years time. Given that the bank's job is to keep inflation at two to 3%, this is not a good sign going forward. Oh, I hate my job. Indeed, the survey results show that their interest rates that have been released by the Bank of Canada has had almost no effect on inflation expectations. With the first rate hike coming in March 2022 and inflation expectations continuing their upward trend ever since. As to what Canadians think is causing the upsurge in inflation, Canadians have switched their views since the first quarter with more and more Canadians thinking that it's supply chain issues and government spending rather than being COVID related. As to what can be done about Canada's inflation rate, Canadians are showing less and less confidence in the Bank of Canada's ability to get it under control. Only about 41% said the Bank of Canada can achieve its target inflation rate most of the time or always, with over 50% thinking the Bank of Canada can never achieve its target inflation rate or can get it under control sometime. So in summary, Canadians aren't confident that the Bank of Canada can get inflation under control within the next two years, and more than half think that they couldn't even if they wanted to. But what do businesses think? According to the Business Outlook survey, Canadian businesses are also suspect that the bank will be able to get inflation under control within the next few years. So although Canadian business thinks that the inflation rate is going to be elevated for the next few years, much in line with that of Canadian consumers, almost more important is that there's been almost no change on the in the opinions of Canadian business since the beginning of the rate hike started in March. Indeed, Canadian businesses have actually gotten more pessimistic about our inflation rate since the beginning of 2022, with over 50% expecting it to take at least two to three years or longer for the inflation rate to return back to the target range. As for what is needed to get our inflation rate back down to the target range, that 2-3% to level, Canadian business referenced interest rate hikes, improved supply chains, lower oil prices, and a ceased conflict in Ukraine. Anything else I could do for you? So, to summarize these two surveys, despite the 125 basis points and interest rate hikes that we've seen in the past three or four months, Canadian businesses and Canadians themselves remain unconvinced that the Bank of Canada will be able to get inflation under control within the next couple of years. Since the previous rate hike that we saw at the beginning of June, we've seen the Federal Reserve raise interest rates by 75 basis points. We've seen an inflation rate come in much higher than anticipated at 7.7%. And now we've seen that despite all of the rate hikes, Canadian and business inflationary expectations remain unchanged. In fact, they're getting worse. So, 
given that the Bank of Canada's main concern right now is to manage expectations in the hope that that will prevent an even higher inflation rate in the future, I would think that these major developments this month are only going to put even more pressure on the Bank of Canada to go with a 75 basis point rate hike at their announcement next week. We'll obviously have updates out on this channel on that announcement coming out next week. If you want to get those updates, make sure you click like and subscribe. And thanks so much for watching.